another church. This is a hotel. <laughs> now there's a lot going on in this video and uh, I have the food just for you. Chase, this video is trending and the topic is also trending. And from the replies that I read, no, I found out that, look, Nigeria is a scripted sitcom. <laughs> I, because um, what led to this? A lady went to a hotel and this happened over there. I have the food just for you. I'm the headless YouTube, but this headless reactions. Alatai, Yanka! Okay, so this is what the lady tweeted. She said, I lodged at a hotel in PH, that's Port Harcourt, in Nigeria this morning. I got a knock on my door that I should come for prayers. I think saying a joke. <laughs> Come for prayers, you think it's a joke, eh? Okay, I didn't reply. Next thing is a loud clap and songs from downstairs. It's still 7.30 a.m. and now rest, I can't rest here. What's all this one now? Now, um, with this feed, a lot can be said. And I mean, a lot. Let me know <laughs> in your opinion right now what you think about this feed. Now, let's watch the video. You know, first off, people think, say, oh, it's a hotel. Now, people are coming from multi perspectives on this one. Some people are saying it's a hotel. The, you, people actually come there to have peace of mind, to rest, and what is all this disturbance? Can't these people pray in their corner or what? Others are saying, eh, it's a hotel, so what? Can't we pray? Now, if you have been called for prayer and you will not pray, just be in your room. Close your door or your window and mind your business now let's read some of the replies that came after that you know, we'll talk about this but let me know in the comment section right now if you think this is good or it's bad if you think it's professional or it's acceptable or not this person said close your windows they asked you to join if you're interested you're not they didn't force you rather they proceeded to a place away from you to do their prayers you open your window to do a video so you can complain. That's weird. Close your window. Another person also said that must everyone know you lodged in a hotel for the first time and paid with your own money? Now, a party. And somebody came to reply and said, why do you guys always feel that everybody here is on your level? No, be everybody with day Nigeria, they suffer like you. Paul, do you need help? <laughs> Limau. <laughs> ah, man like me, man like me would have headed to that to that pool with an almost naked woman and a few bottles of Heineken just to piss them off properly. Now, another person also said I would have carried my pack of cigarettes and a bottle of big stouts and gone to the poolside. Um, okay, and gone to the pool beside them to chill. Another person also said, most of us in the comment section are blindfolded by religious beliefs. Organizing prayer session in a hotel is outrightly wrong, honestly. The management needs to work better, because I don't see any reason lodging where I can't have peace of mind. She should ask for a refund. Now, there are a whole lot of, your friend is saying, a whole lot of comments. Somebody also said that this year is a major problem of this country. Reason why our nation is at a landslide. A country where prayers is patronized over any other serious issue. In other parts of the world, who dares do this? Another person also said they didn't forcefully bring you out with them to do the devotion. Why you can't record them, carry them, come Twitter. Use your earphones and go back to sleep next time. Now, like I said, there are mixed reactions on this one. Now, let's look at this from two or three different perspectives based on what people are saying. One, some people are saying that, hey, it's a hotel. For all you know, there are, certain, um, there are certain hotels that they don't even allow opposite sex to be in one room. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and there are hotels 
where they don't allow people. She said, even if you are married, you and your wife have to be in separate rooms or what? Or <laughs> if you are married, you have to provide your your life, your friends and marriage certificates before they will allow both of you to be in one room. In which country? If you know any such hotel, let me know in the comment section. Now, people are saying that what if this, uh, this, um, like, th this is what they do. They come for uh, prayers and stuff like that. This, on the other hand, is unacceptable. Now, why should somebody go to a hotel to have, you know, a quiet time or to relax and be woken up by prayers? Can't people pray in, like, like one conference hall and not be is it by force? Others who are saying, say, this thing is normal. For all you know, they are just, you know, preventing something bad from happening. Maybe they've seen say, something is about to happen and they are praying to, you know, block that thing from happening. Religious issues, political issues, and love is something that if you argue about, you will never come at a conclusion or, you know, a reasonable conjunction or conjuncture. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think it is right for, for people to organize, you know, devotion out in the open like this in a hotel? Or this is wrong? Let me know in the comment section. And if you see somebody's comment and you want to interact or, you know, react to the comment, just don't insult the person. Let's be civil over here. Or maybe <laughs> it's a family house, not a hotel. <laughs> I maybe it's a family house and not a hotel. Whatever it is, you know, this happened in Nigeria. In Port Harcourt. Oh, clap for Nigeria. <laughs> hey, and you can watch other content, you know, Nigeria related content, but you know, this is quite upset for somebody to, you know, go through this. But they are bashing her, some people are defending this act, some people are defending the woman, some people are chastising her. Whatever it is, you know, let me know in the comment section. Meanwhile, Oh, yeah, 